Hello people, welcome to Highest Forex. Name is Gabriel and this is where we get traders from foundations to freedom. In this video, I will be talking about position or lot size calculator. So as we already know, position size calculators help us manage risk effectively by determining the appropriate position size based on factors like account size, risk tolerance and stop loss levels, you know. I'll be talking about that and I'll be talking mostly on how to get it on a meta trader. Either meta trader 4 or 5, the same procedure works for free. This tutorial or this procedure also work on the Ma on uh, Mac and the Windows system or Windows operating system the same way. So if you have meta trader 5, meta trader 4, either on the Mac or Windows, this particular procedure works for you. If you have any complications, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section. Let's get started. All right, people, you can see on my screen that we are on what the position size or position sizer EA dashboard. All right, so this is where you're going to get it. The link to this website is on my description below. Now, mind you, I don't have no affiliation with this N Forex company or, you know, people that provide this particular stuff. You can see they also provide a lot of free stuff on here too. So I don't have no affiliation with them. And when you come on the website, you should get to, you know, you have to, uh, you can see how to use the position sizer to calculate position size and, tr and to trade, right? So you have to go through all of this on your own. I'm not here to teach uh, the tutorial on how to use it. I'm just here how to show you how to get it set up on your MetaTrader 5, like I said earlier. So 4 or 5, but I'm using the 5 for the, for the example. It's just a little different from the 4, just the beginning, which I'm going to point out as we go down. So if you want to know how to effectively use it, you have to come on the website. Like I said, the link is in the description, right? So you have to come on your website and look at it through the whole. They have a lot of instructions here. It's very, very user friendly. You are, you're going to understand it very quick and how to use it. All right. So let's go directly to the download, which is our own point of focus. All right. So I'm just going to show you guys how to set it up on your computer. So here you go. Oh, here we go, right? <laughs> so download, blah, blah, blah. And then this is the version that is the current version. It was updated October last year, all right? So you have Meta Trader 4 and Trader 5, all right? So for my computer, I use Meta Trader 5 and I already have it installed in my computer. So if you don't have it, you have to press the installation. It will start to download immediately. So like I said earlier, Meta Trader 5 and 4 uses the same procedure. If you want to use the Meta, if you are using on Meta Trader 5, uh, you're going, you, you just have to go to MQL5 and expert. If you're in MetaTrader 4, you should be also conversant with what MQL4 and then go to expert. All right. So for me already, like I said, I already have it on my computer. Let me show you guys real quick. So I already have it on my system. You can see it here, position sizer, right? So this is all you need. When you when you click on uh when you click on any of this, any of the link, depending on the one you're using, it's just going to download to your computer immediately. So I have this MetaTrader 4, sorry, position size already. If you open it, it's going to look something like so. So let's open our MetaTrader 5 and let me get to show to you guys how to properly set it up on your trading system. All right, people. So this is uh, MT5, right? And when you hop on the MT5, your focal point should be what on file. When you go to MT5, just go to your file because what we downloaded is a file, right? So go to the file and then go to open data folder. All right. So open data folder. And then it will open what the data folder for your MT5. For mine, it's a different uh, uh, tab. It opens on a different tab. Some people it might open on top of your MetaTrader like that. So when you're open, when you're on the tab like this, you have opened the data folder here on the folder. You have to look for MQ5, which is like the one, two, three, the fourth uh, file there. MQ5. Like I said, M, uh, for MetaTrader 4, it should be MQL4. This is MQL5. Okay. So open MQL5, the first option is export. So you go to export, which is the first uh, file you have. So MT5, you have advisors, examples, and then free robots. So we have open, we are going to open the advisors, okay? Now, make sure you open the tab of your, of your position size that which you have downloaded, right? So you just have to uh, command A and copy everything here. Copy everything, all right? Everything on the position size and come and paste it on the advisor. Just paste it on the advisor. Everything will come on the advisor like so, all right? So that is the first part. You can now close your advisor, all right? So uh, when you when you come back on your MT5, okay, sometimes it should show immediately. If it doesn't show, click on the advisor. And then for, for those of you using Mac, use your two fingers to click. And then for those of you using the mouse, use your, you know, uh, right click. Right click on the advisor and then refresh, okay? 
so if it doesn't come it means it is not compiled yet so you have to go and compile it to compile it you have to go back to the, fi uh, the file go back to open data folder and then go back to mql5 go to export and then go to advisors where you pasted it all right so when you're in advisors right now your focal point should be on this five okay position size are mq5 this is what you're going to compile position size are mq5 you're going to see position size are mqh not that the one that has the five behind of the five, the five here right position size are mq5 once you click on it it should open the meta editor which is the meta code language editor for those of you using windows meta code editor to open it like so all you have to do here is just to click on compile you just have to come up here this place and click on compile so if i click on compile right now you can see it doing this thing it's compiling down here you can see generating code 20 percent okay it will compile this will depend on your network stability it will compile faster or slower I tend to just within 10 minutes it should be done and make sure it records no error okay so for mine it's taking a while so i'm going to pause the video and come back once it is all compiled it is all generated and we have zero errors zero warnings and five thousand what 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 and blah 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 so make sure that you have no errors as well make sure your error is zero and your warnings are zero so if all of this if these two are zero whatever numbers you see here they are cool all right so when this is done you just have to close it right close the, the editor and close the the advisor as well and go back to what the mt5 so you can see once i compiled it you can see under it now we have position sizer here so all you have to do if you want to use it as soon you just have to open it okay so you have to open it and set all of this up like i said if you go on the website right on the website you're going to find a, you're going to find a lot of instructions and how to use it how to set it up as well so if you are you're going to follow through with this stuff okay to know what all of these things here means so if you follow through with with what all of these things says and uh you're going to be able to understand in depth what these things are i'm sure maybe if you guys want a video i should i will be able to put out uh subsequently videos about the ones you know the features that i use specifically i think what i use mostly is just um just copying my own percentage of loss and then a uh, percentage of risk and let them give me an adequate loss size for my entry i think that's that's mainly what i do with this thing just the risk management okay because sometimes it takes a lot of time to for you to sit down look at the pips and then start calculating which loss size will suit for your for your already uh determined or for your already assigned uh risk capital okay so this will do it for you within seconds once you just put the percentage it will just calculate it for you and give you a lot size and you just have to click execute and to execute the trade so if you go through all of the instructions right here you get to understand all of the features here and which one to put based on your preference i don't think anything is by force apart from the colors if you are using a windows you should be able to change the colors for your stop loss color your tp label color your, your stop entry your entry label color and all of that if you are using a windows you should be able to change the colors but if you're using a mac you won't be able to change the colors from this default one but i think every other thing here uh, you should be able to edit to your preference okay so we're just going to click on okay all right it's common so you have to come on this common this is the input right so this is common come on this common and allow algo trading you have to allow algo trading okay if not it doesn't work so you have to click on okay so once you click on okay it pops up like so on your dashboard and then if you go through the instruction just like i said on the website you'll be able to understand what this is saying just like i said the basic thing i use for me i keep everything default just like how it is like this is why how this is how i keep it default and the basic thing i use is the risk you can see risk percentage right then to tell you the risk in dollars how much it is if you put the percentage because it knows your account i say account balance is three thousand dollars all right and then the risk percentage is one so it's going to be capping 30 30 uh dollars risk for me so if i execute instantly if i put an instant execution right it will tell me you see the loss size is too close too close because they are the one putting their default stuff i've not put where my loss size should be all of that so it will tell you how much you risk and when you drag your stop loss and take profit it will tell you what is the best position size for you right so because this thing are too close you can see the position size or the loss size is suggesting 2.75 for me to risk this uh 30 dollars so if i am to let's say i want to risk 10 percent of my account it should also tell me 300 dollars and then to give you the adequate loss size uh, loss size for it so you just have to put stop loss you have to put your position 
take rough you have to write it and then your entry as well if you had for me i use instant execution because i'm always there so if i put it my focal point mostly is the stop loss right so if i put the stop loss i think that's all for it so i think this is the stop line green yeah this is the stop loss line let's just execute practically right so let's say our stop loss is going to be at the top of this candle that is currently flowing down and i want to um execute a trade and i want to risk just one percent of three thousand dollars so it's going to tell me the losses i'll use be 0 0.45 okay so it has a, a quick key for executing trade so mine is shift t okay you can see there it's telling you it's telling you something okay i'll go trading disable sorry so you have to here you have to turn on algo trading before you are going to be able to use it so algo trading is now enabled right allow or prohibit algo trading so if i click on shift t it's going to tell me uh, sell order blah 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 and tell you the risk and then everything involved so if you click if you click enter right it's going to place the trade like that you can see that's place the trade and just like that just my own sh uh, short keys shift t and then uh, shift and t and then click enter and then it won't put the trade like so so if you want to change yours it's also at that place i said you have to look at the the input area so if you want to go back to the you go to the input while you're setting it up to set up your own quick key but the default quick key for this this tool is shift t and then click and enter to execute so after putting everything this is the entry short that i'm selling right so the entry price is here the stop loss level is there which is at the top of the week the candle which we, we, we put together right the other type is an instant execution hide lines if you want you can hide the lines and then you let your other lines row if you want to show their own lines and um common one way per load and blah 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 if you want to put that so account size to tell you the account size you have and then to the risk area this is where the focal point is right so risk percentage i only want to risk one percent of my account and then it will suggest a loss size for you okay so it's, it immediately you put the percentage you want to risk let's say five it will tell you the loss size instantly it does its calculation and tell you the loss size instantly so you just have to click shift t and then you click enter it will execute the trade for you so guys i hope this has been helpful please leave us a comment in the comment section thanks for watching and stay highest.